Hello everybody. It's May 19th, 2024. It's a Sunday. I'm going to take a look at the progress of the Sherman Street Bridge. Haven't been down here in a while. And I'm going to do an update. Sidewalks are going in. You can see that on the left. Let's get this sign in here. These sidewalks are closed. I can't walk on them. That sign right there, Sherman Street closed through, tra to, through traffic effective Monday 627. Walking right down the dead center of what will be, in the not too distant future, a paved, brand new Sherman Street, which leads to the Sherman Street Bridge. There's actually two bridges. There's a small one and a larger one. The small one's done, it's just not paved. I'll show that to you. Let's get a look at these sidewalks. I mean, these things, they, they, they're very impressive. There's a view. We're not gonna get this view much longer. This thing is uh, coming along at a pretty quick pace lately. All this, where I'm walking now is all dug up. But now it's all cleared out. They got the sidewalk in. To the left of me, this is going to be a road that leads down to the upper falls. The Yannick River, the Indian Leap area, the Yannick River flows down to the upper falls and then the lower falls, which is Indian Leap. And that's absolutely uh, beautiful and it's going to be even more beautiful when they get done with that project they're working on right down at Indian Leap right now. But I'm on, right now I'm on the smaller bridge. This is all going to be cleaned up. There'll probably be a sidewalk going up both sides. I'm not sure of that, but... The houses you see down there are located on Asylum Street. Yeah, there's a lot of progress that's been made since my last update. I mean, I... I'm kind of amazed. Things are moving. Things are moving along. Let me get a side view of this bridge. I'm not 100% sure if they're going to put a sidewalk on this side. I think they are, but I'm not positive. I'm not going to go right down to the river. It's very rocky, but there's a good view right there. I mean, it's taken a while to get this thing done, and it's going to be worth a wait because it's absolutely beautiful. They've done a spectacular job, these guys. I mean, these people that worked on this bridge. All right, here's a look back up Sherman Street. But here's the bridge. I mean, I. It doesn't say no trespassing. Um, 
I'm walking on the new Sherman Street Bridge right now. I am walking down the, let me get right dead center of this thing. That's it, I'm, I'm right on the heart of it. I'm gonna turn, that's the Yannick River. There's the Yannick River right there. It's pretty high. We've had some rain. There's a look. Let's go look at the other side of this Yannick River. It's kind of windy today. Hopefully this microphone is picking up the audio. And there's the other side of the Yannick River. So I work my way over to Asylum Street. They got work to do, but they're in the home stretch. There's no question about that. Capture some video down here. Because once this done, bridge is done, it's gonna stand the test of time, you can tell. This is heavy duty, hardcore, major league construction. Did it take a long time? Yes. Was it worth the effort? Absolutely. There's a ground level view right there. So I'm on the I'm on the larger of the two Sherman Street bridges and I'm walking down the heart of it right now. Let's take a pause for a second. Do a slight pan. That wooded area over there. Only a matter of time now, folks. We're just putting the finishing touches on this thing. That sidewalk is done. The sewers are in, the drains, and this road here was an absolute disaster. Maybe a month ago. Now it's it looks like it's ready to be paved soon. Again, there's a Absolutely beautiful sidewalk. And there's the... I'll take a walk down there. I'll, I'll get you a, a nice view of the side of that smaller bridge. Which I'm on, or I'm going to be on momentarily. All right, I'm on the bridge. I'm on the smaller bridge right now. I mean, this bridge is built to last. It'll be there for the rest of my lifetime. There's no question about that. And this, again, this is the road that leads down to the upper falls. To the left, you can see all that, that hill. That It's starting to green up a little bit with that, uh, it's probably that kind of grass that you spray on out of a machine, but that's all freshly graded. And All right, here's a super wide view. They graded the ground in front of us. Yeah, it's, there's the small 
smaller of the of the two bridges. My assumption is uh, this Sherman Street bridge, the larger of the two, will be kind of fancied up with this stone work that you can see there on the side. Down there, I mean it's kind of way in the distance, but they don't have that that stonework yet done on that portion of the bridge, the larger of the two, which is fine. You know, cosmetically, I think that'll be real nice. Just let me take a short walk. I'm not gonna go too far down here. Let me do a kind of a panoramic sweep here. That gets very overgrown in there, and then when it, we get a lot of rain, the river really comes way up, and at times it dries out almost completely. So it's, uh, it is ripe for thick vegetation. Obviously the progress is incredibly impressive. Let's get a different view over here. I'm going to go over as far as I can to possibly get a look at that. Yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at the side of that smaller of the two bridges. Sometimes that water right there that you see is absolutely non-existent. This thing is either flowing like it is now or bone dry, one or the other. All right, here's another wide view. There it is, right there. Coming soon. A completed Sherman Street Bridge that is going to be an absolute thrill to have completed because it's been, you know, kind of obscuring the traffic patterns in Norwich um, for really a couple of years now. And this is going to be a big relief. once this bridge is, uh, you know, fully operational. Normally I would go over to Asylum Street and do some coverage over there. Maybe I will. Yeah, I think I'll... I'll get one more. I'll walk up to the end of this thing right now. And then I'll take a quick drive to get some more footage over there on Asylum Street, I think, if I can find a decent parking place over there. Sometimes it's close to impossible, but... Some of the machinery... shot here. There it is right there. Okay, I'm going to close it down. Take a drive over to Asylum Street. Get a little coverage from that area. Okay, folks. 
I'm back. I am standing on Asylum Street. As that car goes up the hill. There's the Anik River. There's a bunch of the materials that these folks are using to construct the Sherman Street Bridge and the surrounding area. So this is what it's like from Asylum Street. I'll do a quick sweep. And that'll uh, conclude today's presentation. There's another view of the Asylum Street area with that gentleman driving up that hill once again. And again, there's materials, equipment used to construct this bridge. We'll get down on the side here and see what kind of view we can get. Definitely a unique angle. There it is. I'm going to do a very slow pan up river. And the Yannick River is flowing quite nicely. We've had some rain recently. And let's take a walk over here through this heavy equipment and take a look at where the road is going to expand to. Right now it's one lane, obviously. And it's going to, the road is going to be right in here. There's a real good view right there. And I'm going to walk down to the center of the bridge. I'm not going to go on the bridge because it's really not easily accessible from this side. It's accessible from Sherman Street. There was there were no warning signs or no do not trespass signs or anything like that. So I had a pretty easy time of it today. Wow, there's a car coming down the wrong way. Right now, that is the wrong way on a one-way street. If another car was coming in the other direction, it would be very interesting. I think this guy might get lucky. Interesting. Well, captured that on video. This is some kind of an electrical station. This is all new. I, I, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but... It's brand new. It was not here prior to the construction of this uh, bridge. As I walk up Asylum Street. If I kept walking, and that would be couple of miles I would end up on West Main Street in Norwich. Here comes a car, I gotta bail out of here. But we're getting some pretty good views here. Let me get a gander. All right, there we go. 
It's about as close as I can get without jumping the barrier here, which I'm not going to do because that road is all perfectly laid out. I don't want to mess anything up on these guys. Well, let's take a walk up Asylum Street. And I want to get to the, like I said, I want to get to the center. Right there. There's a good view. Let's do us another pan. All the way up Asylum Street. Yeah, this signs, this area, under video surveillance, authorized personnel only. Do not enter from this side anyways, the other side's wide open. As we pan very slowly across. And I'm gonna try to get a view of the other side of that bridge. As we walk up Asylum Street, there's another view. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can get closer. I don't know if I can. Through traffic, local traffic only. Okay. Maybe I can get down here a little bit. I'm not going to go too far. As the wind kind of starts to kick up, I can get a good look at the side of this bridge and then we'll uh, call it a day and shut this video down. But I think I captured what I wanted to capture, so. There it is, the Yannick River is flowing. Right under the Sherman Street Bridge. Right there. One last look. Thanks for joining me, folks.